Lauren, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Hey guys, so hi, I'm Lauren. I'm a, I'm a Christmas volunteer, if you can't tell. Um, Poppy and Emma can't actually be here today, so um, they're, well, they're also part of the team, but obviously they can't be here, as I said. Um, second year economic student, uh, they both do English and history, um, but they are both very, very busy with work at the moment, so I was like, it's fine. Oh, have a nice slide. Anyway, so we had two projects to work on uh, over first term. First one I'm going to talk about is Love in a Box. So as you can see here, that is actually a great looking picture of me, if I must say, <laughs> with Phil and Rich. And as you can see in the van, we have all of our boxes that we managed to fill uh, and they all got moved from the volunteering hub. I think there is a statistics page afterwards with how much we actually achieved in that time. Um, so we gave them to FSCI, as you can see there. All they do is they collect, you know, the shoe box that we fill with toiletries, basic necessities, anything that might be like a common item to us, which actually will go away and, and help somebody out that, you know, we don't really realise. So our box actually went to Bulgaria, we found out. Um, they distribute quite a lot and they want to make sure that, you know, everyone kind of has a fair shot uh, at life. So even though it's just a little sm small shoe box filled with stuff, uh, that it would make a little difference. Um, so we actually try to encourage everyone on campus. So that was societies, clubs, uh, anybody. We spread the message. We actually um, send them all a message on Instagram. We message every single account we could find uh, to help them get involved. Uh, and then consequently, um, oh sorry, it's, sorry, it's after this page. So as I said here, so that you encourage clubs to get involved. We emailed literally every single one. I think I sent out about like 90 messages. So that was a very fun afternoon that I had, but. We had feedback from a lot of them um, and on the page after this you'll see how we actually get involved. Um, so I'm sorry that seven different clubs got involved so we had 60 uh, filled shoe boxes to our project from them. Men's Football actually donated a 40 inch TV box filled with donations so we spent one Saturday wrapping up about probably about 40 boxes to, from just their donations alone so they were a really good team to get involved um, and we were surprised when they rocked up with it. As you can see, that was actually in um, Crosslands. We had a wrapping event um, and some there from history. That's another um, Christmas leader. Uh, and then my friend came along in a best wrap box. We ran little things for individuals to get involved with if they didn't, um, weren't part of a club or society, but still wanted to get involved. Um, so yeah, we had two prize boxes, best decorated and best filled. Um, yeah, and in the end we had six, uh, seven different clubs get involved, but we had a lot more support just because they might have not donated shoe boxes or anything. We had a lot spread our posts on social media. We had a lot of um, publicity from them. So just because seven donated, we actually had uh, support from a lot. So as you can see, oh, well, we're going to tell everybody that that is our box. It looks like all of our wrapping, but that's from their Facebook page. Uh, it's pretty cool that a box that we probably did wrap is in that little girl's hand. So um, it's a very like personal, quite touching moment to see something like that. That is good chance it is from us, but I can't guarantee that. Um, so as you can see, we filled 133 boxes. Uh, we had 12 volunteers help at our wrapping sessions. Uh, we received donations from pretty much everyone on campus. I think on the last day before the deadline, we had two come in from staff. I don't know what office they were in, but we did have staff donate boxes. And that's just from what we saw when we were just coincidentally in the volunteering office. If we won, obviously we had to hear it all from, from you guys. So thank you for taking up everything that we weren't there to see. Um, aside from just reaching out with people in the university, we, uh, we reached out to people in the community. So as you can see there, our local shops and businesses. So Sports Direct basically gave us every shoe box that we actually had. Um, Tesco, they gave us a 10 pound voucher to spend on anything we wanted from their shop um, to put in our boxes. And the entertainer actually, so we went into Staines and we were like, hi, we're doing this project. And they were like, oh, we have like a community um, voucher that we can give away to, you know, projects, local projects throughout the year. And yeah, so they gave us a £10 voucher that we spent on toys to fill up children boxes with. So the bottom fact there, I'm not sure if you can see, um, but it's about 7,500 shoe boxes that distributed in total from this company. Um, and as I said, they all went to Bulgaria. Uh, that bottom picture, that's all of our boxes. It did take us about two hours to stack them up like that because I'm not very good at architecture or anything like that. So that was very challenging, but it was all good. It was all good. So that was our first project. That all happened within the space of starting term, so from September to 5th of November is when we had to end all that by. And then this started probably just after reading week. 
So we had a small overlap. Um, it's very hard to get people in the Christmas spirit when you are just starting term and it's September. And we're like, come on, guys, donate, because it all has to be done by Christmas. So um, when that one ended, we started this one. And this is Santa's workshop, and it's aimed at um, supporting like, the local elderly people, especially now because of COVID, um, and people in care homes um, who had to isolate or you know, don't see as many people over Christmas. So we aim to bring the community together. Um, we have these gift bags, which I'll talk about more in a minute. And then we also hosted a wrapping event so that the elder people had something to unwrap um, at Christmas. So what the actual workshop is, is that, as you can see, that's also from the wrapping event. That's Emma um, filling up one of the bags. And then that's, I think that's athletics, actually. So they came along to give us a hand as well um, with some of this. And we were in the library for a bit. This was the event that we held to do that. Um, we had donations from society. So I think dance, the dance society gave us some donations for this. We also had just a student come along with like 30 items because she just loves the elderly. So she stayed for a bit as well. Um, and then, yeah, we filled them all up just one Wednesday morning, I think. Um, so as you can see here, this is all of our hard work. We actually went into the card factory in Staines and purchased all of those bags. We basically bought the entire box that were on, on sale. Um, and then the woman gave us our, dis our discount, stuff discount. So we uh, actually got them all for like, I think it was like 30 quid, which was pretty good. Um, and then, yeah, we had 140 of them. We thought we'd 140 would be fine, but no, we actually had too many donations for the bags. So um, that was all fine, yes. Yeah. So we had hand cream, we had socks, we had pies. Christmas puddings, diffusers, and anything sweet treats that was donated that we just had randomly spare. Um, most of this money, so we did actually purchase most of these. Um, that came from the Moves app. Uh, on Black Friday, you could donate your points and you would have double points. So that would mean that we had extra money. So 450 pounds of that came from staff and students. I mean, I definitely donated on that day because well, I have five pounds the day before and you can have 10 pounds the day after. Um, and we also reached out to the community. So as you can see here, Waitrose, um, they gave us 10 boxes of mince pies uh, instead of a donation. And as I said, the card factory actually gave us their discount for the gift bags. Um, and at this event, we had 13 people come and show up for the whole two hours, actually. Um, and it was actually, it was quite, it went so quickly, I didn't really realise. And at the end, everyone just came over. And I think they went to Manor Farm as well. We actually had a note from someone from Manor Farm. And uh, it was from a little old lady called Maureen. She actually wrote back to us. Uh, she said that she wasn't going to knitting. However, she did like the soap. So um, we did actually hear back from, from one of the um, members of the elderly generation, which was very, very sweet. I must say, I think that email was, was quite fun. But um, yeah, thank you guys for listening. Uh, as you can see here, we have had a really successful term. We did manage to reach out to a lot of people. Um, and it's great to see some people get involved. It is a bit of a manic first term. However, it's been a lot of fun. As you've seen from our statistics, we managed to raise quite a lot, especially the year back after kind of COVID and everyone's kind of returning back to campus. But yeah, thank you guys. I uh, hope that's been insightful. Um, thank you. Yeah, thanks.